We're going to review a few barrier options for providing breast to an infant, either during a respiratory arrest or a cardiac arrest. So breast and CPR is in place in any time you're during level C CPR or above. And we can also do breast in the case where we have a definitive pulse with an infant we'd be checking brachial. We're positive they have a pulse, but they're not breathing well. So when we're, whenever we're giving breast to a patient using our own air, it's ideal to have a barrier so that we're not transmitting any infection from the patient to us or us to the patient. So three common barrier devices we have is a face shield. So this is a universal face shield that can be used for adults, infants, children. It's really nice and compact, folds up nice and small, and it comes prepackaged. And it has a one-way valve that's rigid as well as a mouthpiece to provide some really good protection from the patient. So that's a nice option. You have the pocket mask. So this comes with a lot of AEDs that you're pulling off a wall. This is a more robust option. It has a bladder to give you a better seal. Um, when they're stored, they're stored flat. So you actually need to pop them out for them to work. And this adult mask can be modified to use on an infant. It's not ideal though. And then you can also now purchase an infant mask. So an infant mask with a one-way valve. So it's the same one-way valve that's on our pocket mask. And this can just be attached to the mask just by twisting it on there and it'll sit. And this is a pocket mask specifically for an infant. So those are our three options and we'll review how to use these on the patient. So the first device we'll go over is the face shield. So again, just make sure you have it oriented the correct way. You should be able to read the writing and putting it on in the way that it makes sense with the writing. If you have it backwards, um, then that's the incorrect way to use this mask. So it should be this way with the writing. The mouthpiece may fit inside the infant's mouth um, or right on top, depending on the size of the baby. Um, and you're just gonna place it over the patient's face and you're gonna basically seal the whole mask down over the whole face. Do a bit of a head tilt and then provide your breath. Just enough to see that chest rise. So that's the face shield. Again, this is gonna be sealed over the whole face and then you're giving your breath just enough to see chest rise while sealing that face shield completely over it. So that's the face shield. Next we have our adult pocket mask. So the reason we show this is this is quite publicly available now with our public access defibrillators. This is usually found in a red pouch attached to any defib in the public. So that's why we're showing the use of this mask on an infant. It is not the most ideal though. I'd kind of rather use a face shield um, or an infant mask as they seal better. This takes a little bit of practice to get good at. Now they've gone over a number of times whether we should be using it in the same way as an adult or flipping it over. Um, generally flipping it upside down, you get a big leak where the nose is. So the newest recommendations we have is to use it in the same orientation we would for an adult. Now this mask being so big, it's actually gonna sit over the patient's entire face. So it's gonna sit just like that. Big thing you wanna make sure is the straps are not in the mask and you wanna make sure you're sealing this down over the whole face. Big problem with using these masks is people tend to push down and not allow the airway to be open. You wanna make sure you have an airway position so that the airway is open as well. So again, you're gonna seal your mask down, a little bit of positioning, and just giving enough air to see that chest rise. All right, so that's just a demonstration of the ventilation. And you'd be doing your ventilation ratio based on your training. So if you're doing assisted ventilations, you're gonna do your one breath every three to five seconds. If you're doing CPR, you're gonna do your two breaths and 15 compressions as part of your ratio as two person CPR. And that'll all be part of your training. So that is the adult pocket mask modified for an infant. The last option we're gonna demonstrate is an infant pocket mask. So this is actually a specifically designed infant mask for the baby, again, with a one-way valve attached, the same one-way valve we would use in the adult pocket mask. So this again has a point, the point always goes towards the nose, and this will seal over the face like this. Now it doesn't have a strap on it, which is fine. Um, we're gonna use this with a head tilt, and what you can do is just provide some fingers at the top, and a thumb at the bottom, that'll give you a good seal. And you can give just enough air again to see chest rise. So that's how you can do it from the side. If you were at the top of the patient, 
We were doing two person CPR. Someone was down there. You can use your fingers here to pull the jaw up and the thumbs to seal the mask down. And provide your breast this way. And again, just enough air to see chest rise. The rationale for these clear masks is so that you can observe vomiting. If you see the patient vomiting, remove the mask, turn the patient to the side, let them complete active vomiting, and then scoop any leftovers out. You're gonna reassess your patient based on your training, and then you can go back to using the mask as needed. So that video is just to cover some different options for barrier devices for infants. Again, we have the infant mask with a one-way valve, we have the adult CPR mask with a one-way valve, and we have the face shield, again, with a one-way valve. Okay, you can buy these at wildmedkits.ca. In our kits, we sell a, a CPR mask kit, um, and it comes with some instructions as a guide there with you.